Hey Minions, welcome to Crank It Up. I'm Jim Price, and on this episode of Action Awareness, I'll be talking about There Goes Tokyo, an action of the kaiju. This video will have two parts, the traditional uses of this card, as well as my controversial interpretation of its ability. I'll be dealing with the controversial part first to get it out of the way, and as usual, I want to make it clear that this is my personal interpretation of the ruling, not an official ruling. However, I don't make videos like this lightly and trust that I have done my due diligence and research. It's important to always come to your own conclusion rather than just accepting what someone else says at face value. I don't want you to assume that I am always correct 100% of the time. The card states, if Gorgod Zola is in play, destroy its base and all other cards on it. Move Gorgod Zola to another base and replace the destroyed base normally. Now, the question you may be asking is, what happens if a minion such as Warbot is on the base? Does it survive the destruction and remain on the base? The Smash Up Wiki, which I have great respect for, says yes, but I'm actually going to argue that the answer is no for a couple of reasons. Also, I fully acknowledge that the intent was probably for the answer to be yes, but based on how the card is written, as well as some general rules, the answer has to be no until there is an official errata or clarification. There is a single word that is at the heart of the dispute, and probably not the one you're expecting. On. On is not a smash up keyword, so what does it mean? If there is a second word at fault, it would be the word attachment. We tend to think of attachments as things on a card, such as actions and counters on a minion, actions on a base, or even counters on actions. Actions are not attached to actions, and minions are not attached to minions. However, looking at page 13 of the Big in Japan rulebook, which has continued into page 16 of the That 70s rulebook, when a card leaves play, any cards and counters on it are discarded. Now remember that bases are in fact cards, and cards can leave play, such as when they are destroyed. So if a card is leaving play, that means that the cards on it also leave play, as usual, unless otherwise specified. So what does it mean to be on a base? Fortunately, There Goes Tokyo uses the exact wording. Destroy its base and all other cards on it. Therefore, the minions are on the base in this context, which means that they must also be destroyed. But even if they are not, they must be discarded because the card housing them is no longer in play. Further evidence of this appears on a card like Burn It Down. As I mentioned in my Steam Queen video, Burn It Down explicitly states that minions on the original base remain. You'll also notice that Not in Kansas has the same wording, that the original minions remain. There Goes Tokyo does not. Since there is no text overriding the main rule, the main rule must apply and the minions must be discarded. I'd like to point out that there are some general rules auto-applied in certain situations, such as shuffling your deck if you searched it, but this is not one of them. This brings up two more questions. First, what does replace the destroyed base normally mean? I believe it means very simply, draw the top card of the base deck. The second, more confusing question then is, how does terraforming work? Because terraforming doesn't say on its card that the original minions remain. But terraforming does say to discard the actions, implying that the minions should remain. This helps justify the official clarification that terraforming does in fact leave the minions there. Besides, terraforming doesn't need any more power than it already has, which you'll see in an upcoming video. But, because of the rules cited above, and the fact that There Goes Tokyo does not explicitly override them, the minions have to be discarded if not destroyed already. Think of it this way. If the card didn't say to destroy all other minions, would you even question their survival? In fact, there is a non-trivial difference as to whether the minions are destroyed or discarded. This usually centers around any effects that would occur if the destruction went through. For example, kaiju pair really well with steampunks who have a card like Escape Hatch. 
If your minions on the base were destroyed, you could put them back into your hand. But if they were discarded, you could not. Additionally, the destruction would trigger cards such as the Count or Chum, granting a lot of plus one counters. The opportunity to destroy all cards is ironically the only defense against this card which is pretty much unblockable. Certain cards have abilities that can be triggered by the destruction that allows them to persist. For example, the Buccaneer would simply move to another base because the attempted destruction triggers his ability. The Medical Officer, who doesn't even have to be on that base, can allow you to return your minions there to your hand or to combine abilities with a ship's engineer who can move them to another base. If the minions were simply discarded, none of these abilities would trigger. After that long rules lawyering, what are some general uses for There Goes Tokyo? It functions as a great reset button, but Gorgodzola must be on the base. Since you destroy everything, including your own cards, it will likely be a base you are losing, so you don't want to invest too many cards there. You can play Tiny Priestesses to move Gorgodzola there, then play the action to blow everything up. If you don't want to sacrifice one of your few minions, you can use Kaiju Conflict to gain two actions, move Gorgodzola with They Say He's Got To Go or Oh No, then play There Goes Tokyo to finish the base off. You only have one copy of this card, and Pick Up A Bus can only target actions which can be played on a base. However, if you use the Steampunks and you don't value your friendships, you can use Scrap Diving to get it back and allow your opponents to burn all of their cards. With two Scrap Divings, that's three times you get to destroy an entire base, assuming your friends are still playing with you at that point. Unlike the other base replacement cards, this card functions as a total reset which is great for stall tactics. You'll want to wait as long as possible for initiating the combo, so be sure to know how much your opponents can drop in a single turn. The card is powerful, which makes sense given the kaiju, and if used properly, you can create a great card advantage against your opponents. If you are playing against kaiju, you have to anticipate this card and work to minimize its damage. This can be accomplished by spreading out so that no one base is an obvious target. You may want to focus on smaller bases that you can break with your big drops so that There Goes Tokyo cannot strike you down. Movement based factions are especially powerful as you can spread out to minimize casualties then swarm when you're ready to break the base. It is not enough to simply avoid the Gorgodzola base as it can be moved by the Kaiju cards. There Goes Tokyo is certainly a powerful card with the potential to be game changing. It has significant differences from other base replacing actions which make it devastating. Short of Will Whedon, there is no way to stop it once it's played, so the best course of action is prevention, anticipation, and mitigating your casualties. I understand that this is a difficult card to interpret, so let's talk about it. Do you agree with my assessment? Let's discuss it in the comments. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's shut it down.